Here's my instant impression of the Suzuki Kazashi. Pretty good car, very nice packaging, a lot like the Volkswagen Jetta. When you get in the back seat, you'll find got a decent amount of room. It's a little bit tight, not a whole lot of legroom. Of course, it's not all that bad, but the reason that it's tight is because of the way they did the truck. It's got a pretty good depth to it and a pretty good opening. But of course, the only way you can tell anything about a car is driving it. Come on, let's go inside. As soon as you get in the Kazashi, you notice immediately that this is a very well laid out interior. Very nice use of materials. Doesn't look cheap or feel cheap whatsoever. Also, the fit and finish throughout this car looks really, really good. This one happens to be very well equipped. Rockford Fosgate sound system, paddle shifters, sunroof, you name it. But as I said before, the only way that you can really know how these things are is by driving them. So let's take it for a drive. Every Kazashi comes with a 2.4 liter four cylinder engine with 185 horsepower. This one happens to be hooked up to a continuously variable transmission, a CVT. Not all that great from an enthusiast standpoint, but you can also put it into a shift mode where you can use the paddle shifters and all of a sudden this thing becomes a whole lot more interesting to drive. With this combination, this car happens to be rated at 22 mile city, 29 highway, not all that great a fuel economy. And of course, a key reason is that this is 17.9, almost 18 pounds per horsepower. A little bit above average where most cars are. Not that bad, but a little bit above average. Okay, so what's the bottom line? A base Kazashi costs just under $19,000. This one is $27,500, which to me is pretty pricey for a car like this, and may explain why they aren't really selling all that many. It's only been in the market for a few months now, but they're only selling about 200 a month, which is a disaster. In fact, Suzuki is in real trouble. Sales are absolutely plummeting, and unless this Kazashi really picks up and starts to sell, you gotta wonder how Suzuki is going to survive in the American market.